Yo, what is going on guys? It is Aeros and I am back with another video. So for this video, we're going to be talking about Kristaps Porzingis and why the Knicks chose to not extend his contract before the deadline. Okay, so Kristaps Porzingis was scheduled to make approximately $27 million next summer from the New York Knicks and approximately $158 million total over the next five years in a Supermax contract. Now, if the New York Knicks had just given that to KP right away, right now, that would have taken a major hit on their cap space and heavily limited their ability to potentially sign one or perhaps two big time free agents this coming offseason, the 2019 NBA free agency. So when people saw that the New York Knicks decided not to extend KP and allow him to become a free agent in 2019, this coming summer, people, not including myself, but I saw a bunch of Knicks fans on Twitter and all over social media sort of freaking out, thinking like, what are the Knicks doing? What could they possibly be doing this for? I think the main reason, well, obviously the main reason is to save some money to potentially go after multiple free agents this coming summer. So, but that could mean a few things, and I'm going to get into that. So by not extending Kristaps Porzingis right away right now, that saves the Knicks an additional $10 million to sign free agents with on top of all the money they're going to have this offseason. Now, a guy like Kevin Durant is going to need a huge contract, a super max contract with the first year being approximately $38 million, so almost $40 million in his first year if Kevin Durant were to be pursued by the Knicks. So the Knicks are going to need all the money they possibly can have to sign a guy like him. Now, if they, let's say, get confirmation from two players, let's say Jimmy Butler and Kyrie Irving or Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, if they were to get two players to confirm they're coming to the Knicks before giving KP any kind of max contract, the Knicks, honestly, as crazy as this sounds, may consider letting Porzingis walk because they just won't have the money. Who would you rather have? Kristaps Porzingis, a seven foot three shooter who is just coming off a major injury. And for a guy at his height, it is not a good injury to have. For any player, a torn ACL is not a good injury, but especially a player of his height, it's really not a good sign. Hopefully he can bounce back. I'm rooting for him. I love Kristaps Porzingis and I would love for him to stay in New York. But if you're asking me, would I rather have Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving in their primes for the next four or five years or just Kristaps Porzingis and, and maybe Kyrie Irving, I, I'm going to go with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. I, you got to. I mean, it's a point guard and one of the greatest players of all time in Kevin Durant. You have to go with that. So yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. There's not much else to talk about because we're just going to have to see what the Knicks do with their money in the 2019 free agency. It's going to be really interesting now that Kristaps Porzingis is officially going to be a free agent as well. So the Knicks are going to have to make a decision. Do we sign KP and just one star or do we sign two other stars and let KP walk? It's going to be tough. I mean, obviously, I would love if they could keep all three and maybe three guys could work out some sort of deal like maybe what the Miami Heat did. But the odds of that are just really slim. But look, I would love for them to keep KP. Let me know in the comments. Do you want the Knicks to keep KP? Let them walk for other stars. Let me know. I want to see all your thoughts in the comments down below. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Be sure to check out my Instagram. The link will be in the description down below. And until the next video, peace out.